वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ ऑफिस 365 गाइस आई एम अंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द फीचर्स ऑफ एक्सचेंज एडमिन सेंटर एज वी नो दैट इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द शेयर्ड मेल बॉक्स बिकॉज़ द शेयर्ड मेल बॉक्स कैन हेल्प अस टू create a common mailbox for multiple user account those user account able to access the same mailbox at a same time but now as your office 365 admin it's our responsibility we should know about the another features that are available on our exchange admin center so let me move ourselves to exchange admin center and guide you about the another features but before that if you new on my youtube channel if you watching my video first time so please do subscribe teach me cloud your on youtube channel because the teach me cloud can give you the 100% live practical based videos without skip any step so this is our office 365 microsoft 365 admin center as we know very well about the office 365 can provide three different dashboard or three different uh, portal one is microsoft 365 admin center second is uh, microsoft uh, azure ad and third one is exchange admin center so our responsibility to know more about the exchange so that's why i'm just going to open exchange this is the option that are available in our microsoft 365 admin center it will redirect you on another page this is the exchange admin center and with the help of exchange admin center we are able to perform lots of tasks those tasks can help us to troubleshoot our mailings related issues and uh, also exchange admin center can help us to provide the lots of policies security and n number of features are available in previous class we have already discussed about the mailboxes and group uh, like as a distribution group and uh, uh, about the shared mailbox so these all are the groups that we have already discussed now it's a 16 class so i'm going to guide you about the usage of mail flow because it's really important it's really important for everyone as per the name suggests the meaning of mailbox can help you to trace your mail and also you can monitor the mails activity right the mail mail id that you created for your uh, employees if you want to track the sending receiving or if you want to troubleshoot the any issues related to the mails then mail flow can help us so i am responsible to guide you each and every point like as a about the message trace rule remote domains accepted domain containers alert alert policy these all are the really important for every office 365 engineer right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on the mail flow and in the mail flow we are able to find one of important option called message trace right as per the name suggests the meaning of message trace if you want to trace the message for example if any client uh, means uh, ask you like you are um, i'm unable to access my mail i'm unable to send the mail i'm unable to receive the mail so in this case as a owner of portal it's our responsibility we should know about the meaning of tracing so in the tracing panel we are able to find default queries these all are the templates pre configured template we have a custom queries you can create your own and auto saved queries download rep downloadable reports so these all are the option can help us to trace the message i'm going to start from the default queries in the default queries messages sent from my primary domain in the last day this is the template you can say that you have option to create your own template if you want to verify the message of last uh, um, means uh, domain in last day you want to, to check it just need to click here it will give you the information about the entire message that you sent like this is your sender name and recipient recipient in the sense you can say that the receiver the recipient the mail id that you used to send your message through itbd 307 dot on microsoft dot com right so you just need to type the name of your email id here like in our case we created multiple email id like the aws at the rate cloud kaksa for example you sended a mail through the aws at the rate cloud kaksa to any email id and you wanted to verify why you are unable to uh send our uh, what exactly happen in between that uh, user enable to get your email so just need to click here you can select the days like you wanted to trace your email from 0 to 90 days the default days are available in case of tracing 90 but you have option to customize it you can proceed with 1 2 7 days 10 days 15 days 30 days and 90 days if you want to track your message 
of uh, last uh, seven days so you just need to select here in the part of delivery uh, status so we have uh, all delivered expand right and failed pending so quarantine so as per your requirement you can just select the delivery status what exactly status uh, you are getting so if you confuse like you are unable to find the status of your delivery so just need to proceed with all because in this case it will track the entire types of delivery status message id you just need to capture the message id because whenever we send the email it will give you the message id and you just need to copy the message id and paste here once you paste it and click search it will guide you it will give you the complete information in the format of just like a event viewer it will give you the complete information by using this uh, information you can export the result and verify the actual usage act actual issues that you are able to send your email right this is the basic example if you want to create your own so what you need to do just need to click on start a trace in the sender type you need to type the name of your email id like as aws dot something recipient means you can type the name of your receiver the mail id that you use to send but i wanted to use for the everyone because uh, i'm unable to send the email through the aws at the rate cloud kaksa select the date and timing means you can select the hours or uh, particular days like you wanted to check from last 30 days and it will give you the option to download your csv file delivery status all message id if you want to if you have a uh, any message id just need to paste here and uh, no need to make any changes enhance uh, uh, summary reports downloadable csv only right so i want to proceed with this option because in case of csv we will get the complete information now successfully sended our delivery report to this particular mail id i'm just going to check the inbox open outlook because this is my email id that i use to log in you will get a csv file and by using the csv file you can trace the status of our email Okay, so if you don't have any tracing, like as a, you, if you haven't shared any email, uh, send any email, email by using this particular mail ID, so it will not give you the any kind of result. So in your case, what you need to do when the report is ready to download the email below the notified. So this is the email ID that you will get the information about your downloadable because it's still preparing. So definitely it will maybe take time. So you have to wait up to 30 minutes after 30 minutes, you will receive a email and CSV file. So this is the information about the message tracing as it is. We have a rules, the meaning of rules that can help us to create a security. If you want to protect your mail ID, if you want to protect your account, so definitely the rules can help us. A number of rules are available like as uh, these all are the template. You can configure the disclaimer, bypass the spam filter filter message by size modify message n number of rules are available means if anyone can modify the message and send it again if you created a rule so you will get the information or uh, user able to modify the email disclaimer if you want to configure a disclaimer disclaimer for any mail id so you just need to create a rule and attach the rule with the particular mail id so this is the basic information about rules. So in next class, I'll guide you properly with practical how we can manage the rules in our real environment. Everyone, I hope you all of you understand about the concept of our exchange admin center and also mail flow. So in mail flow, we will try to complete each and every point. 
so thank you guys take care and we'll connect soon in another session please do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys